In this video, we are going to talk about the chain rule. The chain rule is one of the most important rules in differentiation. Um, it really makes our work easier, makes our lives easier. But it's also one of the most difficult rules to deal with when finding derivatives. Okay, so um, my goal here is to try to make it simple so that at the end of the video you'll have a better sense of what the chain rule is. So basically the chain rule applies with composite functions. Okay, Composite functions are those functions with an inside function and an outside function. Basically two functions that are sort of merged together. Okay, There are a lot of ways to do chain rule. There are a lot of ways to ch teach chain rule and I'm gonna go with the I would say the easiest way and the most intuitive way of the, of doing chain rule okay so let's let's define the chain okay so I'm just gonna write it here so the chain rule this is the chain rule for differentiation okay so the statement is simple um, if you have a function uh, y y equals f of x um, the derivative of y, so dy over dx, is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u uh, with respect to x. Okay, so that's the chain rule, and you can already see what we did here. We introduced a new variable, okay, and that's u, okay. And you'll see later how we can um, figure out what u will be. So let's have an, an example. Okay, um, let's start with a simple one. Um, let's say y is equal to, let's say, x minus 3 cubed. Okay, so let's try to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So our goal is to find dy over dx and obviously if you look at the form if you look at the function itself it certainly looks like um, we can do the power rule um, but actually we can't do that because our inside function is not x it's x minus 1 so we cannot just apply the power rule um, the way we actually normally do it Okay, it's very tempting to use the power rule, but again, it's not that's not how that's not how we do this one. Okay, um, so how do we solve this? Okay, so we can solve this by introducing a new variable. Okay, and we'll call that variable u. Okay. So, what will be our u? u will be the inside function, okay? And in this case, the inside function is this function, the function inside the parentheses, okay? So that will be x minus 3, okay? That's our u. Now, if you look at our chain rule here on the left side, uh, you'll see that the first thing that we need to, to do, we need to find, is dy over du. Okay, but uh, we can't do that yet because our y is a function of x. So, how do we make that a function of u? Well, we already made a substitution that u is equal to x minus 3, so we can substitute that here and say that um, y, so let me replace that, so y equals x minus 3, which is a u cube okay so y equals u cube so we now have a function uh, a function of u okay which also means that we can already get or find dy over du so that's very straightforward dy over du is just equal to 3u squared okay again very straightforward 
Now the next thing that we need to find is du over dx. So we need a function of x. Okay, a function called u um, um, that uses x as a variable, and we already have that here. So then we can use this to find du over dx. Okay, so from there we say that du over dx is equal to 1. Okay, so now um, we got, we already have everything that we need. We have dy over du and du over dx. So we can just plug that in. So dy over du is 3u squared times dy, du over dx, which is 1. So you put that there. That is equal to 3. And then we're going to replace back u with x minus 3. So that would be x minus 3 squared times 1, which is just times 1. So uh, that will give us um, finally. So finally, that will give us this. So dy over dx is 3x minus 3 squared. All right, let's have another example. y equals 6x squared plus 7x to the fourth power. So this time in the solution, we are going to put some structure in it, okay? So the way I would do this is I'm going to draw like a 2 by 2 grid, okay? Um, here, uh, top left, we're going to put here our u substitution, okay? So our u is 6x squared plus 7x okay and then at the bottom we're going to put our new function where u is our variable so y equals this becomes u that becomes u and then to the fourth power okay on the right hand side this is where we put our derivatives so here, this is where we uh, put our du over dx. And then the bottom, this is where dy over du goes. Okay. So let's do this. So the derivative of u with respect to x is 12x plus 7. And then derivative of y with respect to u is 4u cube. And then we're going to use the chain rule, the format. So dy over dx is equal to dy over du, which is 4u cubed. Okay, 4u cubed times um, du over dx, which is um, 12x plus 7. Okay. And then we are going to substitute back u for u here. Okay. u is 6x squared plus 7x. So that will be 4 times u, which is 6x squared plus 7x cubed times 12 x plus 7 and that's it that's dy over dx okay let's have another one so this time we have y equals the cube root of 1 minus 8 x okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, write this as an exponent so uh, that will be 1 minus 8 x uh, to the power of uh, one third. Okay, so that's cube root. Um, in exponential form, that's one third. Okay. Now, here we're going to write our u, which is the inside function, one minus eight x. The bottom, we're going to write our new uh, new function. So y equals 
u to the power of one third. Okay. On the right side is where we put our du over dx. And that actually gives us negative 8. And then here, this is where we put our dy over du. And that will give us 1 third u, 1 third minus 1, okay? Um, which gives us 1 third u to the negative 2 third, okay? So that's dy over du, and then we're just going to use that. Okay, so dy over dx is dy over du, which is one third times u negative two third times du over dx, which is negative eight. Okay, and then again, we're going to replace u with this one minus eight x. So that would give us, and then also the negative 8, we'll, we're going to put that, um, uh, we're going to multiply that with 1 third, so that gives us negative 8 over 3 times u, which is 1 minus 8x to the power of negative 2 third. Okay, so that will be, that will be our dy over dx. All right, so let's have a, a little bit more difficult example. Okay, so let's have y equals two times sine of three x plus tangent x. Okay, so so although this looks intimidating, but the rule is the same. So we'll have our inside function u which is 3x plus tangent x um, then our y can be written as 2 sine of u okay then on the right side will be du over dx which we know is 3 derivative of 3x is 3 plus derivative of tangent x is secant squared x and then at the bottom will be the derivative of y with respect to u um, which we know is 2 times cosine of u okay and then all we need to do is just use the formula dy over dx equals dy over du which is 2 cosine of u, okay, 2 cosine of u, um, times, okay, times, so, um, that will be the u over dx, which is 3 plus secant squared x, okay, and then finally, we just have to replace u with, uh, the original substitution, so that's 2 times cosine of, 3x plus tangent x times 3 plus secant squared x and you can simplify this if you want to but that's actually good that's enough that will be your dy over dx